Lord, I, along with Isaiah, in his prayer, hold that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence, as when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. Lord, you are so great. You are so mighty. Your ways are higher than our ways. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. There is no one greater. There is no one higher than you. Lord, you are the high and lofty one that inhabits eternity. Your name is holy. You dwell in that high and holy place, and with him also does a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Lord, you said that to this man would you look, even to him that is of a poor and of a contrite spirit, and that trembleth at your word. Lord, I ask that you would arrest our attention tonight. Lord, I'm not interested in going through the motions. I know it's Wednesday, and, and um, some of us are probably physically tired and so on, but Lord, I pray that you would renew our spirits and that you would uh, give us uh, uh, just an eagerness, Lord, to hear from you tonight. Lord, I, I am so helpless. Uh, Lord, this, this is not in me, it's not in us. Lord, you don't need us, but we must have you. Lord, you have got to work in each of our hearts tonight. Lord, I pray that tonight, as uh, some are just seem to be bound and just chained up with sin and, and various vices, I pray, Lord, that the chains would drop off tonight. Lord, that there would be... Uh...